Hey guys, it's your coach Greg D here back with another video and today is day uh, 24, yes, <laughs> day 24 of the P90X journey, which means it was, which workout did I do? I did Kempo, that's right, Kempo. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm sorry, I'm a little um, delirious from being starving, so did Kempo. Big news with Kempo is I believe that at this point Kempo is um, quote unquote the easiest workout for me, meaning that I have the least amount of trouble doing that. As I've mentioned in the previous videos, you know, I'm familiar with um, the MMA style workouts, and every time that I do it, I get a little bit better. And this is probably the only cardio workout thus far that I can. Um, do all of the moves straight through without having to take a break. Like I can, I can go from start to finish of the workout, which is an hour long, and not take a break. And it's probably the only cardio workout that I can do that for. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. And from this point forward, I'm going to you know push myself harder when it comes to Kempo, and obviously push myself harder as far as the other workouts are concerned too. Um, but on, you know. The other, another side is I am going right now to get myself some post-workout meal goodness. Got a sandwich from Panera, so I will show you what I got when I get it. And uh, for right now, I'm going to go because I got to go pick it up. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh, yeah. So basically what I got here is Panera's version of a steak and cheese on a panini. Oh, my God. This thing smells amazing. I'm going to literally crush this thing i believe this thing is about 900 calories but still within my macros so it'll be a good good ratio of carbs to protein uh for post-workout obviously uh 900 calories will probably leave me about 600 left for the day so i'll eat something small for dinner and then i'll be good to go you know, continuing to work towards my goals, losing weight, gaining strength, all that fun stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys a look at this thing. This thing does look freaking amazing. And it smells amazing, too. So, I'm going to eat. Mm. Woo! So, uh, pardon me if I look a little, like, out of it, a little groggy. I just woke up from a nap. And, uh, because I have to work the, uh, overnight shift tonight. So, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I can, uh... I got a couple hours of sleep just so that I could stay up all night because, you know, working 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., you, you need to stay alert and um, awake, obviously. So sleeping is good. And that kind of reminded me about, you know, fitness-wise, if you've been having trouble or if you've uh, reached a plateau um, as far as your weight loss is concerned, make sure that you're getting enough sleep because you can burn off most of your calories. You burn off most of all your gook and crap and everything while you're sleeping because your body is still, you know, working and using energy while you sleep. And that is the best time that it, you know, uses to repair itself. And that's when you do burn the most calories. So make sure that you are getting, you know, at least six to eight hours of sleep every day. I mean, that is something small that you can do that may end up making a big difference as far as, you know, continuing on in your weight loss journey, your fitness journey. So remember that. So that's about it for this video, guys. Um, like I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. You will see me tomorrow for, what are we on now, day 25, um, which will be yoga? Or no, um, X stretch. That's right. It'll be X stretch. So I will see you tomorrow for that. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me get my information and, you know, these videos out to more people so that more people can see them so I can help make more of a difference. Like I said, again, where there's a will is a way and I'll see you guys tomorrow.